Today I want to bring in and talk about the whole concept of trigger points. It, it's, a, it's a phrase that is often used and, and sort of bandied about. Um, and I wanted to explain firstly what are trigger points. And I suppose one of the easiest ways I describe it in the classroom, it's where a muscle has been switched on for too long. Now, that reasoning of why a muscle is switched on for too long can be postural, so it can be about how we sit and our rounded shoulders. It could be about overuse, so it could be about, you know, if you're a keyboard worker, if you're an electrician builder, or an athlete where you're playing golf or the cycling. You know, when muscles are switched on for too long and they build up hypersensitive fibres, which turn into irritable, bruised areas that the fibres break down and then we end up in a place where the fibres are trying to repair and then break down again and you have this slow build-up of, of, of tissue that becomes hardened and sore. Hence, you've got an area that is sore to the touch and it can be the size of a pea or in very chronic cases, it can be a size of a, of a golf ball. You know, it really does change. And the key thing to remember is that trigger points occur in the muscle bellies, in, in, the, in the fibres, and also around hypersensitive areas that where the muscles join the bones, so tender. So tendonitis can be treated with the same techniques that we use in trigger point theory, uh, and therapy. Um, so that's what they are. The other aspect to trigger point therapy is very much the referred pain. Because the nervous system, that obviously runs through all our fibres, becomes hypersensitive and sore when a muscle's again switched on for too long, you end up in this place where the nerves are being triggered, which then gives you this referred pain. So the pain is often not necessarily where uh, the trigger point is and the upper trapezius which um, you know is of so common isn't it around our shoulders uh, into our necks hypersensitive areas trigger points that become sensitive and in in inflamed can give us headaches uh, pain behind the eyes localized pain but often it travels around the back too and up into the neck and that's really very common so so many people come into the clinic with tight shoulders, trigger point areas in the shoulders, but they're living with eye pain, headaches, tiredness, fatigue, etc, etc, etc. Really treatable. Here at the Academy, we do a number of different workshops uh, and courses, short sort of two day courses, all about the techniques of working with trigger points and how we work on them. So it's very easy. Uh, it's a great, simple way of relieving uh, build up of tension where the muscles are switched on for too long.